But anyways, another thing that's really interesting, you know, I I don't want to get over my own pay grade, and I think it's you're getting a little over yours as well. Um, do you know who Johannes Grieber was? Uh, you know, I enjoy talking to you, but pay grade, uh, you know, the Bible was written to common men. You know that, right? Um, Jesus' disciples were uh, common people, the ones that that were confused by his teachings were the Pharisees, the the learned uh, men on the scriptures. So you think the Bible is for everyone? Definitely so. The Bible oh. is for everyone. Oh. Yes. I mean, that is why it's called the Word of God, and he, he his will is that uh, all kinds of people be saved, because it's written for everyone. Oh. Those that have those that have the right heart conditions are the ones that understand it, not the ones that have some uh, bachelor's degree. Oh. So there's not some hidden meaning behind what the Bible saying. There's the not? Bible's using the word son of God, it shouldn't be something that's so mysterious that the common person can't understand. Are you, wait a minute, are you saying I could read the Bible and find, like, how to have eternal life? Am I saying you could read the Bible and have eternal life? And find out how to have eternal life, like on my own? Uh, No, that's not what I'm saying. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you said it was for everyone. What's it for then? It it is for us to increase our faith in Uh in God and and, uh, learn knowledge of Him. And by getting knowledge of him and of his son that he sent forth, we get everlasting life, yes. Oh, do I need the Watchtower organization to understand the Bible? Well, if you look in those publications from the Watchtower, you will see they use the Bible all throughout. Yeah, I, that's not what I was asking. I know, you're you're uh, very uh, trying to be very... Uh, tricky in, in how you're wording things, but I'm just going to answer the way that's true. Can I find Can I find out how to have eternal How to get uh, get along the road to life? Just reading my Bible, or not? Somebody said this. They said, unless we are in touch with this channel of communication that God is using, we will not progress along the road to life no matter how much Bible reading we do. Do you know who said that? No, who said that? The Watchtower. Okay. And then they also said, to this organization alone, God's sacred word, the Bible, is not a sealed book. Well, you you said it was for everyone. It is for everyone. Yeah, but you can't find life, and it's a sealed book to everyone no. if they're not a Jehovah Witness or learning. So here, we have, here we have someone right here that uh, reads those publications. She, she clearly uh, enjoys the Bible, too, but it doesn't seem like uh, their message is reaching her heart. Who are you talking to? You, you spend a lot of time... Are you talking to me in the third person? <laughs> That's kind of weird. Are you talking to somebody else? You spend a lot of time reading these publications to mm-hmm. find these things, and then uh, it doesn't mean that it's going to reach your heart. Someone else reading those same things might it might reach their heart, and they might say, wow, this is this is the truth, but it's not happening to you. They say that it is sufficient to read the Bible exclusively, either alone or in small groups at home. But strangely, through such Bible reading, they have reverted right back to the apostolic doctrines that Christendom's clergy were teaching 100 years ago. Now, why would that be if you read the Bible without watchtowers, you'd go back to historic original Christianity? Oh, yeah, and even further, the the main doctrines of Christianity have been around for almost 2,000 years. Thank you, I know that. But what, you're taking a quote, I don't get to see the whole context. You're okay. You're taking a quote and, 
and then saying orig original a hundred years ago, original. <laughs> That's not original. It says, um, well, whatever it's saying that what yeah, what mainline Christianity okay, is I'm teaching. That's what they're saying. Into, there's no sense in, in uh, going into some uh, silly debate about something. I can't see the the uh, what what the point is of the article. Okay, uh, August. You, you want to feed me a line and then try to trap me in something? I'm not interested in that. Well, I'm also not interested in winning arguments, but I'm happy to discuss. That's why I've taken this time with you. I don't mind discussing these things with you. I can tell your motives are are not to really learn about things, but to try to debate. Uh, if that's what you want to do, I, I spend time with you, no problem. Do you want the references even, for those so you can check it out? Even if I were to lose an argument, it doesn't bother me, because I'm not here to win arguments mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. I'm here to help people understand mm -hmm. the truth from the Bible. Right, and right. Yes, I am... I'm not I'm not looking for people who are talking about pay grades. <laughs> I'm I'm looking for sincere uh people who want to understand mm -hmm. the truth from the mm -hmm. Bible. The same way Jesus disciples came from the common people. Uh the 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 intellectuals of his time rejected his message and now you're trying to turn it back into that kind of thing again. His simple, clear message, you're trying to change the meaning of it into something that the common person, you're saying, can't understand. Well, no, I'm saying we have always system. had to have translators once people started reading languages other than Greek. And you have the King James Bible on your very website so that's just something you have to grapple with, why they have this false John 1-1 1, 1 on their all, website. All kinds of translations to help people understand Yeah, the so you should, you should use those instead of the New World Translation, because they relied on this okay. um, spiritist named Johannes Grieber for John 1-1 1, 1 and other references. And he was like an occultist. Okay, well, thank you for your opinion on it. Well, it's, it's true. You can even look up his name on the Watchtower Online Library. Johannes Grieber, G R E B E R. Okay, I will look at it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, really, you're saying the Bible is for simple people, but here the Watchtower is saying you can't even progress on the road to life without the organization. So, how did people find the road to life before the 1800s? It shows your 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 background and and your intentions because I didn't say simple people. Simple. Oh, okay. Honest hearted. And that's exactly the way the Pharisees looked at the people that were following Jesus. These people are stupid. Amaharit, right? Yeah, they but had no, they I had the claim to ex I being exclusive word, interpreters, just like the common. watchtower. I use the word common, not simple. That's that's two different meanings. You're how did people how did I'm people say, could people find the road to life before the watchtower started in the eighteen hundreds? Hello? Yes, I'm here. Yeah. I'm not going to answer that question because I don't need to go down that road of, of debating with you. Okay. Do you want some of the references for those quotes so you can see if, you know, I'm misleading about it? References to what quotes? Well, the ones I was reading you that, you know, you can't understand the Bible at all without the watchtower. context that might be included uh -huh. in what you're saying. Okay, you said you wanted uh, to give me the references. Okay. Uh, well, so the can look at the reference and then, uh, then we can talk about what they mean there. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. Maybe you could email me later, you know. I don't want you to have to do it right now, but um, one of them was 12-1-1981. Okay, wait a minute. Let me write it down. Yeah, 1981, um, page 27. I like this older one a lot, too. 
if you want to look this one up, Se September 15th, 1910. 1910? Mm-hmm. It's saying um, it's more superior to read the studies in the scriptures than to just read the Bible. Okay, so, uh, see, this is, <laughs> this is what I'm, I'm saying to you. I mean, clearly you, you've done a lot of research in our publications. How do you expect me to get a hold of a 1910 uh, watchtower that's that's from 110 years ago well first of all they're online on a site called archive.org and that's not any apostates or anything it's just um people who archive like old publications um and you know what the watchtower says in in their bible teach book they say that examining the origins of something is crucial so that would be a good study in the origins of the organization is their actual writings not what they say about their history and um, I think you'd be really, you sound like you read a lot. I think you'd find them really interesting. I don't have access to that watchtower. That's what I'm oh, the watchtower. I thought you meant studies in the scriptures. I think it says that in there also. Russell always did claim that. He said if you don't go with the light that he was dispensing, you'll be left in darkness. He, he said things okay, like so that all I'm the time. I'm not going to go back and argue with you uh, something that was written 110 years ago. No, I, oh, I'm okay. Not. But you yeah. want you yeah. want other people that you're trying to get in the organization to examine origins of, you know, everything they're doing, everything, it, Constantine, and, you know, how old is that? Like, wh why do you do that? And they said origins are crucial. The Bible says to test all things. You mean origins of Constantine? Yeah, I mean, why why is that crucial for other people? But then you're, you're not interested in Charles Taze Russell. Well, it's it's some, hypocritical. I've done some research on, on uh, Charles Taze Russell. I, I have, definitely. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So you know his, his I'm, predictions I'm saying, failed I mean, for 1914? You're, you're talking about, I'm trying to get people to look at these things. I'm not giving them a, a 1910 watchtower. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you're, you're talking they're, in their publications to, to trash historic Christianity. They're, they're giving things like thousands of years old. So I could say the same thing. What are you talking about that for? You know, so but, well, but, but the, the Christian truths over history don't change like yours do. You, you mentioned I could email you. Oh, sure. Uh, did you, you wanted me to give, uh, communicate by email oh yeah if you want if you want to you know after you look those up or you know we could talk about something else or i appreciate your um your your um willingness to talk yeah i'm always willing to that's talk. neat how long have you been uh, a witness uh, since uh, 1992 okay so um i can do you have a pencil i can give you my email Okay, it's the letter D, A N D E R, eight one three two. Got that? Yeah, yeah, At AOL.com. Yeah. dot com. Okay. I'm like uh, sure nobody else has AOL anymore, right? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of. Uh, I, I have I have met a few people, but it's a surprising thing. <laughs> And then, you know, you don't want to change it because then it's such a hassle, like, because people know your email. So then you'd have to try to tell everybody and, oh, well, you know, <laughs> it still works for me, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So D-A-N-D-E-R. Uh-huh. 8132 at Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. That, well, that would be really nice if we can talk a little more. Okay. No problem. Okay. So my, my name is Charles. Oh, okay. I'm Christine. Christine. Christine, okay. Yeah, so okay. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to talk, and I don't mind uh, discussions on things. Oh, so. great. I like it, too. Yeah, I like it, too. Okay, okay. well, okay. maybe we can talk again. Okay, so okay. I'll look up this watchtower you're talking about. Okay, cool. And, then, and we'll try to correspond like that. All right. Okay, sounds good. Okay, God bless you. Have a good one. All right, thank okay. you. See ya.